conversation about like his anti-discrimination and stuff like that, and it was really interesting. So afterwards, I went up and I had a conversation with him. And I just talked to him like, how did you go about it? Like, how are you so confident in your presentations? Like asking him like question after question. He probably thought I was the most annoying person ever. But afterwards, I mean, I made pretty good friends with him, and I got his contact stuff and everything. And then last year, while I was here at university, I actually got asked to go back to the United Nations to work at Feynman Youth Assembly Conferences to be a leader for a lot of the group there, like leading them in media specifically. And I got offered this because Sydney Aframovich and a lot of the peers that I was working with while I was there during high school actually recommended me to do it because I was, I guess, like, talk to them about everything, and they knew that I was pretty passionate about media, so, I mean, just talking to people and being nice and, like, asking them a million questions and showing that you are passionate about something will help you out so much because, like, I was not expecting him at all to, like, turn around and, like, recommend me to be, like, the leader of a media thing at the United Nations conferences. It's just ridiculous. But, yeah, just talking and, like, getting to know people can help you out so much, so talk, talk, talk to, like, everyone that you meet, <laughs> basically. Tips. Do yourself a favor when it comes to this. Make podcasts about probably like pretty much every um, shows that you do and all the features and stuff. Like get it out there. Make podcasts about it. Write a blog of your journey, like starting from the beginning of your work experience to the end, and even just like stuff that you muck around with in the studios. Get it out there. Submit your work to places like. BPR, British Public Radio, and basically get yourself known because, I mean, you're not going to do anything if you're just sitting in your like bed all day saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, you know. Like, it's not going to get you anywhere. You need to get yourself out there and you need to get yourself known because people will realize and they will notice you if you're trying to get yourself out there. Um, find inspiration wherever you go. If you're walking down the street, you can find inspiration anywhere. It can take the tiniest little thought that can make the best feature sometimes. And it can be the simplest stuff most of the time that makes the best feature. So any idea that you have, just work on it and like, you know, make it happen because like, no idea is too stupid to try and do something about, pretty much. And appear keen to everyone that you meet and everyone that you see because you never know how they can help you. Tips and tricks. Like I said before, be nice because, I mean, it's the most unpredictable people that can help you out the majority of the time. And also, like, just talk to everyone and let them know that you are, like, passionate about what you do because, for example, I was on a plane ride back from the United States to come here just recently back from Christmas, and I was sitting next to someone on the plane and I got talking to him and we are like, having this conversation and I was like, oh yeah, I'm at university doing radio production, like in Bournemouth and stuff like that. And he was like, oh yeah, sweet. He was like, I'm actually a sound engineer. And I was like, no way. I was like, be quiet. No, you're not. He was like, yeah, yeah, I'm a sound engineer. And he was like, and one of my friends actually worked at a radio station in Peru. He was like, I know exactly what you're talking about. He was like, yeah, that's really, really cool. So now, like, I have a contact with him. I was like, so if I ever need his help, like, and he was just talking to him on a plane ride. Like, it's the most unexpected places that you'll meet all these people. And Leggett, I don't know if y'all have heard about Leggett for Orange University. Um, during that hitchhiking event, I made it to Belgium, and I was on my way back from Belgium to here. And I actually hitchhiked with some tour managers um, who just got back from touring with Owl City and somebody else. Anyway, so they're coming back from um, that to the United Kingdom. And I was talking to them, and they just, like, we were so interested in, like, the stuff that I was doing. And I was so interested in what they were doing, and we, like, basically, like, they're my friends now and I can contact them whenever and they said that like if I ever need to I can contact them and if they're on tour with certain people they may be able to like get me some interviews or something with bands that they're with so talk 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 be nice show people that you are interested and they will help you out as best they can because if you're friendly to them they'll want to help you out and that's the thing if you appear really friendly and nice then they'll help you as much as they can Go about things differently. A lot of people think that when you're planning to get work experience, you should just go online, research, find applications, do long butt applications, send them off, wait. Like, that can be great and that can work in your favor a lot of the time, but also go about it differently. There's a story about me and Lucinda, who's in my course, and it was actually a really funny story. We went to Greg James's Feed Up Friday, 
and she applied for it in last November, and she got accepted, and she brought me because it was my birthday. So we went there, and we went to Feed Up Friday, and we met like all these different presenters at Radio 1, and it was super cool. And unfortunately, Greg wasn't there presenting it, it was Dev presenting for him, so that was kind of a bummer, but it was still really, really cool to be like in the atmosphere, we asked them like, so many questions about everything, and they could like see that we were keen. So anyways, we come back from Feed Up Friday, and I was like, okay, well, we didn't get to meet Greg, which is a bummer, so I'm going to see if I can apply this time instead of Lucy, see if we can go again and like get in. I didn't think it would happen, but um, I applied. They called me that day, and they were like, yeah, like, you can come in. That's fine. Come in again. We were like, are you kidding? Like, we were just there. Like, is that okay? They were like, yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. So we came in, and we got there, and we were sitting in the waiting room waiting to go in to meet Greg and everyone. And then the producers come in from the show, and they kind of look at us, and they're like, what are you doing here? And we're like, oh, we've come back Freed Up Friday? And they're like, no, you can't come back. And we were like, but we were told on the phone that we can come back. And they're like, no. <laughs> they're like, don't be ridiculous. So we're like, oh, crap. They're like, well, you can leave, or you can stay and just not speak. And we're like, okay, well, we'll stay at least and not speak. So we stayed there, and we didn't get to speak. Um, so we had to be silent the whole time, but we were still there. We got to meet Greg James finally. We met like Ed Sheeran because he came in and was the um, guest on the show. So that was super cool. But I mean, we appeared keen, that's for sure. But uh, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing at the same time because everyone was like, "What are you doing here?" But um, but no, that was fun. Also, about going about it differently. Try and get yourself known different ways, like going and like annoying people at BBC Radio 1 by going too many times. Or, for example, BBC Radio 6, which is my favorite station, I call them up and I do like phone-ins on air as much as I can. And one time I did a phone-in for Steve Lamack's show um, for his feature, Good Day, Bad Day. And I called in, and of course you get to have like a little conversation with him before and after the feature. So he knew that I was doing radio production, and he was really interested about it. And he was like, yeah, so you're doing radio production at Bournemouth University, right? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, that's like, that's sick. Well, do you have like your own show at any of the stations, like, do you have a university station or something? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. And I was like, yeah. He was like, okay, well, send me your show. Like, I'll listen to your stuff, and, you know, we'll see what we can do. And I was like, okay, sick. So like, um, I emailed him, I have all his contacts now, and I have his like producer's contacts and stuff like that, and that's actually what got me to be really interested in applying for the BBC Six um, internship, which of course I won't hear back from until the end of February. But yeah, that was really exciting, because you like actually getting to speak to the DJs rather than like going through all the application stuff, like they can help you out so much more than like other people can sometimes, so trying to get to the direct source would be your best bet, I think. Actually listen to the radio and find out what it is that you are interested in, because I always thought it was always going to be six music, like I'm all about the music, I love all this like indie alternative music, it's great, but then like coming here and listening to other stuff like composed features and like more educational radio, I found I was really, really interested in that also. So listen to the radio, find out what you are passionate about and what you are interested in, and you know, try and do stuff that you are passionate about because, I mean, there's no use going to like BBC Radio 2 when you aren't interested in it at all. Even though it is good work experience, at the same time, it can kind of be like a downfall because you're not going to be so passionate about it, but I mean, it's still good though. You can still go there, of course. Um, <laughs> my mistakes, especially during the first year, like you guys probably are now, don't get distracted. Me and Lucy were always out. We were like, oh, okay, work experience, we have to do that. Mm, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it next week. We'll do it next month. We didn't really get down to it. And that can really be your downfall all the time because you don't, like, you always think you have, like, so much more time to do it when you don't. All of a sudden, like, everyone has all this work experience around you and you're 